There are many ways to die in the Marvel Universe, and Deadpool has experienced pretty much all of them. Oh Deadpool, we hate to see you go, but we love to watch you die. Wade has been through a lot, and a lot of it is just plain silly. Needless to say, these attempts on Deadpool's particularly stubborn life are memorable for both their creativity and for just how goddamn silly they are. I, Sally from WhatCulture.com, am here to bring you the 10 most ridiculous things Deadpool survived. Number 10 having an anvil dropped on his head. Deadpool is already the Marvel Universe's brutal, bloody equivalent to a Looney Tunes character, so why not take that to its next logical step? In Deadpool Team Up issue 885, Deadpool goes to meet someone he met online, who tells him to meet him in a dark, dangerously suspicious alley. So of course, Wade does it without batting an eye. He doesn't even raise an eyebrow when he sees a big white X in the centre of the alley. After all, why focus on that when there's a four-leaf clover ripe for the picking? Sure enough, Deadpool bends down to pick it up, narrowly missing the anvil tied to a string that swings harmlessly over his head without him even knowing it was there. However, the laws of physics are a tricky mistress, so when Deadpool stands back upright to praise his lucky find, the anvil hits its mark on its return swing, going right through his head and smearing Wade brain juice all over the likely already disgusting alley. Deadpool then gets back up a minute later, finding whoever was behind this more rude than anything else. Number 9 stabbed with a chainsaw sword. The Deadpool Kills saga is by far some of the darkest, bleakest material ever to come out of the House of Ideas. The basic premise is that Deadpool finds a new inner voice that replaces the two regulars he usually hears, which tells him to kill everyone in the Marvel Universe, and then throughout all of fiction itself. Deadpool Kills Deadpool, the third of the trilogy, is, as the name suggests, an attempt by various different versions of Deadpool to take out their insane alternate self before before he destroys all of reality. Being a cast made up entirely of Deadpools, naturally this is one of the goriest comics ever made. One of the many highlights is, of course, when our Deadpool gets run through by one of the coolest things ever crafted by the hands of humans, a sword that is also a chainsaw. Of course he bounces back pretty handily from this, but at least his assailant can definitely say he went the extra mile to try and take Deadpool out. Number 8. Chewing off his own arm the really funny part about Deadpool is that he is fully aware of how indestructible he is, and how he can come back from pretty much any injury no matter how severe. As such, he often gets out of problems by either letting someone hurt him or by maiming himself. In Deadpool issue 900, we see one of the most gruesome depictions of Wade using his own body horror superpowers to get out of scrapes. When he gets captured by aliens, he gets himself free by chewing off his own arm and throwing it at the side scientists looking over him. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's just losing an arm doesn't necessarily mean he should have died from it, and I have to admit that Monty Python and the Holy Grail does spring to mind, but trust me, losing an arm is not something you typically survive unless you get help immediately. So the fact that Deadpool just casually decides to gnaw his own arm off is not only hilarious, but gruesomely badass. Number 7. Head Exploded by Sue Storm at the height of Deadpool's popularity, Marvel got it into their heads that the best thing to do with the character would be to take his dark comedic shtick to the logical extreme. And thus was born, Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe. Now obviously Deadpool takes a ton of punishment as he works his way through the entire Marvel Universe, but one of the goriest moments throughout happens when he tangles with one of the most powerful women in Marvel canon, Sue Storm. After killing her brother, Deadpool manages to find Sue because of a blood splatter on her invisible form. But it's not like doing that nets him much good, seeing as how Sue just makes a force field in his brain and pops his head like a balloon. But of course, if that were all it took to circumvent Deadpool's healing factor, we probably wouldn't even be here talking about him. So Deadpool almost immediately bounces back, turns the tables on, then brutally murders Sue, and merrily continues on his depraved quest unabated. Number 6. Crushed by Thanos Deadpool vs Thanos is essentially two of the most powerful beings in the Marvel Universe bickering like children over their shared schoolyard crush, Death. 
and it is hilarious. You know exactly what this comic is going to be all about the minute Deadpool first comes in contact with Thanos, making several story-related demands that are, frankly, unimportant, mostly because I doubt Thanos would have listened regardless, since the very next page is Deadpool having to put himself back together after being crushed into the floor as a mass of protruding bones and leaking fluids. What? Did you think Deadpool would manage to so much as scratch Thanos? The Mad Titan might not be able to kill him, but no way was he at all threatened by him. Number 5. Gored by an Elephant You would think Deadpool's popularity would just kind of peter out at some point, but fortunately along came the all-star team of Posehn and Duggan to breathe all new life into the character, and right off the bat they showed they knew exactly what kind of book Deadpool should be. When an army vet with access to the mystic arts tries to save his country by bringing back its founders, those founders instead decided that the best course of action to save America is to destroy it and everyone who lives there, and they would have gotten away with it too, if kick the ass of every dead president wasn't such a fun idea for how to spend an afternoon, which which is like a magnet for a force of chaos like Deadpool. When Deadpool first goes to stop the founders, they're actually prepared for him. In this case, they have an elephant gore him from behind, sending his guts everywhere and tangling up his lower intestines around the tusk protruding from his abdomen. As I'm sure you can imagine, Deadpool finds this hilarious. Number 4. Consumed by Zombies Every way imaginable has been tried to get rid of Deadpool, and none of them have worked. The only methods left are the ones that most folks wouldn't resort to, even if it would potentially get Deadpool out of their hair for good. One of those methods is eating him alive, as seen in Night of the Living Deadpool. You would think getting eaten by zombies would finally do the trick. After all, even if he does regenerate inside them, he's in bits and pieces inside various stomachs, which are simultaneously digesting him. However, when his heroic last stand against the zombie horde ends with him getting eaten alive, when they finally get to his brain, something weird happens. His consciousness merges with and overtakes the zombie virus in the zombies who ate them, which then spreads from zombie to zombie as they bite each other. By the end, Deadpool is effectively an omnipotent hive mind god of his own planet, what remains of the human race his to command and control. And of course, when he has a dirty joke, everyone laughs. Truly, he has a power like no other. Number 3. Ripped Apart by the Hulk Throughout the gory pages of Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe, one question bounced up and down excitedly in the minds of everyone reading it. How will Deadpool kill the Hulk? Turns out, the answer is actually pretty simple. Play dead. The Hulk tracks Deadpool down as he's brooding in a cave in the desert. As you can imagine, Wade does not last long against the Jade Giant, and the Hulk tears Deadpool to utter shreds. Deadpool, knowing that trying to get back up and keep fighting the Hulk would not change his current lot in life, instead lets Hulk think he actually managed to kill him, remaining stone quiet as a severed head until the Hulk walks away. Once Hulk has found a nice quiet cave where he can be by himself, he decides to take a lovely little nap, at which point Deadpool puts himself back together, tracks him down, finds a sleeping, vulnerable Bruce Banner, and generously gives poor Dr. Banner just enough time to wake up and see his own incoming death by decapitation. Number 2. Being made into a living cape Deadpool can reliably come back from anything, but some injuries take longer to heal than others. If he loses an arm, it usually takes several hours to a day to regrow. The rules to his power are inconsistent at best, but the general rule of regeneration has always remained, which can make things a little gruesome when a villain has an axe to grind against Deadpool in particular. Enter the Good Knight. The premise of their relationship is that he's Batman and Deadpool is Joe Chill. Good Knight almost immediately overwhelms Deadpool, and when he has him passed out and at his mercy, he does something to the regenerating degenerate that is just, it's just so wrong, man. Simply put, he debones Deadpool and wears his still living, boneless body as a cape. Deadpool gets out of even this encounter, of course, but this is by far one of the most ridiculous things he's ever come back from. Number 1. Destroyed by the Incursion If this can't kill Deadpool, nothing can kill Deadpool. It was a given that Deadpool was going to survive 2015's Secret Wars crossover, but writer Jonathan Hickman didn't really have a place for him in his narrative. So like all the other heroes not in the Richards escape shuttle, Deadpool and his friends and family were slated for global destruction. After ensuring that none of his enemies would ever hurt those he loved ever again, Deadpool and his daughter retire to a yacht in the middle of the ocean with all of his friends to celebrate. 
Apparently Deadpool put too much faith in the Avengers' ability to get that incursion bull honky figured out, and gets front row seats to another Earth colliding into his. So in close proximity we get to see all these characters we spent 45 issues getting to know die brutal, gruesome deaths. Then finally, just to jerk those tears, only Wade is left holding his daughter as the fires consume them. The fact that Deadpool came back from this shows there truly is no getting rid of the Merc with a mouth. So that was 10 most ridiculous things Deadpool survived. As always, a great big thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and hit the little bell if you want notifications delivered directly to you. I've been Sally from whatculture.com and I hope you have an awesome day.